What is up guys? Franz here with my dad and welcome back to the channel. This is probably the most honest and no bias review that you'll come across on YouTube. Yeah, the car is ours. So we can say whatever we want. Let's first start with the exterior. Tada! So here we are guys with the Ford Ranger Raptor behind us. Switch location tayo ngayon kasi ang laki ng car uh, hindi kasha sa garage natin to review. So guys, honest review tayo ngayon. So wala na tayong mga B-roll B-roll na maganda. Ito, uh, ghetto B-roll habang nagsasalita. Ayan, my dad is there. Size comparison. My dad is 5'4 and that's how large the car is. Ito, itong bed. Tingnan mo. Oo nga eh. Nasa chin ng dad ko yung bed though. That's how large the car is. So if you're not that big of a person, you might have a hard time actually going up there. But you have no excuse because my dad is a senior citizen and... Kaya natin. Kaya niya umakit eh. Demo mo nga ulit. Akit ka nga dyan. Oh, kaya ang kaya oh. So guys, habang nandito na tayo, let's talk about the bed of this truck. From what I read, yung Ranger Raptor sa US, sinasabi nila na that's one of the largest um, bed spaces in its own segment. So, ayan. Honestly, kami ng dad ko. Hala, ayan na. Kami ng dad ko, hindi naman kami super like, you know, invested in the bed. Because like, hindi rin namin alam ang gagawin with this bed. Hindi, pangkarga ng gamit. Kung yeah. may gamit. Oh, What's nice about this bed, guys, is that may outlet ka dito. So, ayan. Flip out. Ayan yung parang 220 volts niya. Ano parang? Talagang 220. What's nga? Oh, itong kabila naman, cigarette lighter. Oh, ayan. Ito yung problem guys, kasi yung tailgate, uh, wala siyang step eh. Yung F-150 may step siya dito eh, na nilalabas. So you can like step here first before going up there. But this one doesn't have it, maybe because they market the Ranger Raptor as a race performance truck. So I, I don't know, maybe they wanted to save weight, which is why magaan nga yung uh, tailgate. And unlike the wild truck and other Rangers, wala siyang step dito. So let's talk about the paint guys. This is code orange, which is actually a yeah, premium color siya. Uh, matching siya guys with the ano, uh, interior, which we'll show later. The reason why we got orange is because even if you get a blue one, a white one, or a black one, orange pa rin yung nasa loob. So diba, why not just get the orange one para match talaga. And from what I know, code orange is really an important color for Ford, especially dun sa Baja 1000 which is the race series where they actually participated using a Ranger Raptor and they actually finished, which is um, very remarkable. Kasi, honestly, in ko, since it's a Ford, baka unreliable, dapat ni matapos ng karera yun, pero natapos eh. So, meaning, may pagka-reliable din tong car na to. So, like what I was saying, guys, this video is gonna be very honest and no bias. So, wala tayong takot to actually talk about the unreliable stereotype when it comes to mga Ford. And I am well aware of that kasi even yung previous generation na Raptor, alam kong nagkakaproblema yung transmission nun. So, yeah. Tingnan lang natin kung tatagal to. So over here guys, part siya ng review natin. And as you can see, this car is really a magnet. I guess you can, I, I, hindi ko pwede sabihin guys, ma de demonetize tayo. Here sa front, we have LED na headlights with the sea light. Pag in-unlock ko to, makikita ninyo ano yung tsura ng sea light na to. Hala, uulan na. Unlock. Yan, ganyan siya. So when you're driving, ganyan yung DRL niya. It looks very, very nice. Maangas siya. Tapos malakas ang headlight. And then you have fog lamps over here. And then what's nice is, uh, parang yung previous gen Raptor. This is metal guys. So it's really trail ready. And then, as you can see guys, it's very wide. We actually got to compare this with a real F-150. Yung regular lang, hindi yung Raptor. And it's just as wide. Same sila ng width. Ganun kalapad tong car na to. So it's really a, you know, you can consider it a monster truck, I guess. Sabi nila, 79 inches daw yung, ano eh, yung width. So that's how wide it is. Another thing I like about the front is this. They in integrated the word Ford over there. But they kept it black just to make it look sleek and... Uh, it really reminds me of the F-150 Raptor kasi ganyan din yung styling nyo, di ba? One thing I noticed here is may butas dito, guys. If you can see, itong plate sa gitna, that's actually the cruise control radar. So you should not block that kung may Ranger Raptor ka. 
Yes, and then what I like about this, nakita niyo yan guys, sa likod niyan, that's actually the intercooler na. So it's very well ducted. Oo, wala, walang harang. Walang harang. Harang, lahat ng hangin. Oo, oh, ganda, performance talaga. Tapos dito, ito, pakita mo may front cam siya. Ayan. So this guys has a 360 degree camera all around. So ito yung nasa harap. Side mirror camera. Dito, dito. Hindi yung camera, sensor yan. May... Camera din dito. And then of course, cameras won't be enough guys. This car is filled with sensors. So, malaki kasi siyang car. Kailangan mo ng tulong when it comes to parking. Ang dami yung sensor. Ayan. One, two, and meron dito eh. Three. Ayan, kita nyo yan. Nasa loob eh. Blind spot radar. Hindi, kasama na yan. Hindi, one, two, three, four. Oh, yan. Four. Na naka-integrate sa bumper. Which is sobrang linis. Ayan, five. 6 daming sensor 7 yan tapos multiply by 2 kasi sa kabilang side so you got 14 dami moving on to the side profile of the Ranger Raptor madilim na medyo bilisan mo o nga eh side ng Ranger Raptor guys ayan oh ang laki nya ano pa bang masasabi ko dito I think yung pinaka notable dito is first the wheels and tires well mainly the tires kasi these are BF Goodrich KO2 na all terrain tires 285 siya guys, believe it or not, stock yan pero 285 yung lapad, it's so wide ganda rin ang wheels kasi we got to test this during the test drive these wheels can survive an impact pag tinatalon mo yung car, di ba? oo, oh, tinalon natin yan oh, yung, yung coat, yung ano ba to? anong tawag dun sa ano? yung taga, what do you call that? ano yan, ano ba? hindi uh, ko na alam, hindi na bali ano, na nga Baso tapos uh, meron siyang ditong vent which looks very sporty but I wish guys butas to Wala. kasi fake to eh fake to. walang butas dyan Hindi, ito, rin. ito rin fake to eh guys yung nasa hood oh. although ang angas tingnan ba diba guys sana binuksan nila to but I don't know why they didn't pero that's one sad thing about the car so, meron ditong functional dito 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 masilipin ah oo oh, nga dito, tawag dito guys sarap, wind sarap. curtain wind curtain butas yan eh yeah, kita nyo guys ayan o oh, butas yeah, yeah. oh ayan o oh. oo So this is an aerodynamic device guys that cleans the airflow dito sa my wheel well to uh, create less turbulence dito sa wheel well. Have you? Yan, bakal yan guys. Bakal. So, yes. double purpose yan. Rock slider na rin to. Oo, rock slider and at the same time tapakan when you go up because this truck is like really high. Pero medyo ang ayo ko lang dito pag basa medyo madulas. Yes, especially when you wear those Crocs, yan mga Crocs. Malamang maglalagay, dadagdag tayo ng 3M na ano, grip tape. Yes. Oo. Honestly guys, gandang ganda ako sa exterior. Pati yung taillight ang ganda. Oh. Tingnan, ayan guys, when you press unlock, ilaw siya. Yan. Look at those taillights guys. It's like, wow. Like, wow. Anyway, what's nice about this is may exposed na dito ang tow hooks. Yan. So, two sides. Red Yung front meron din. Ha? Tinakpan lang natin ng cover para Yung maging harap, eh, no? para maging aerodynamic. I think one difference nitong bago from the previous generation is that they added this one. Pansin ko wala sila nito eh. Walang third brake light yung luma. So this new one has it and it's very very nice because helpful yan when you're braking. Imagine, di ba? Uh, maliwanag siya. Okay guys, now that we're done with the exterior, let's now move on to the interior. But of course, before we move into the interior, let's check out what the doors sound like. Let's go. Ano masasabi mo? Wala. Solid. Solid. Actually, itong likod nga, parati natin naiiwan na na nakabukas eh. Kasi kailangan medyo may force ka. Ayan o, oh, bukas. Buti na lang, may sensor sa loob. So everything, yung mga touch points, every touch point is so nice. Alcantara, leather, leather, soft ah guys, tingnan mo. It, talagang very soft. Tapos pagdating dito sa loob guys, it just continues. Alcantara dito sa taas, leather, leather, eto, leather with uh, orange stripe in the middle, racing stripe. And then may stitching din yan na orange, ayan no? And then you get the Raptor logo here na naka parang engrave galing. Yan. The, the seats, grabe. I, I cannot get enough of these seats, guys. Full leather with like Alcantara accents and orange leather accents. So code orange din to, guys. Exactly the same as the paint on the exterior. 
these seats are super duper comfy guys and it's fully adjustable lumbar support uh, up and down yung dito sa legs tsaka yung height tapos yung reclining din na uh, adjust talagang ang sarap umupo dito parang lazy boy sorry guys ang kalat but yeah you get an electronic shifter tapos meron kang electronic parking brake mode selector which we'll show later you get this trail button over here you get a self parking button yes this car can park by itself and then the, this is a TCS off dito naman sa gitna meron tayong armrest console leather din guys very soft to tingin mo mmm pag minuksan mo you get a tray over there and then you have another tray doon sa baba we notice meron siyang parang slot doon ayan oh eh, nakita niyo yung slide no, na yan para, para, para sa yung slot para sa remote yan eh guys pag gusto niyo ilagay yung remote niyo dyan but hindi ko alam kung magcha-charge yan ng remote eh basta guys ayan kung alam niyo yan please comment down below what that is and what it does Moving sa rear guys, the pattern continues, leather here, leather, leather, leather everywhere, same with the seats, leather everywhere, you get aircon dito sa likod, which is very useful, kita niyo guys, nakasulat 220 volts, sorry guys, medyo madilim, but you can charge your laptop there directly, ang galing, ilang laptop, <laughs> gusto mo magluto ng kanin dito, pwede, sakasak mga rice cooker. Eh. Uh, meron din silang dalawang USB charging ports dito which I am using to charge my camera's batteries over there eto guys naaangat to eh lain mo lang yeah. pag inangat mo meron siyang extra storage dito sa baba guys yeah you can you can just hook it there so it's gonna stand like this same as this one it can fold down yan ano meron dyan jack ah dyan yung jack ah I see I see I see Guys, ito sobrang counterintuitive. Pag may raptor kayo, huwag niyong hihilain yan. Kasi tingnan mo, hindi nga mabuksan ng dad ko. Paano to? Yan, dapat paangat. You pull up and then you now have a very soft touch na armrest with cup holder. I love this interior. Honestly guys, yung patalo lang talaga dito sa rear bench is that it's so stiff. Demo ng dad ko. Upo ka, upo ka. Hindi eh. Lahat naman ng pick up, ganyan eh. Dami pang space eh. Sana ginawa nilang sliding to para mag-recline ng unti yung likod, diba? Eh, siguro malamang lalagyan na lang natin dito ng ano, lumbar. Oo, oh, lumbar support. Ayan, para, para medyo nakaganyan yeah. ka na. Wait. So guys, for those of you who always have passengers in the car na sumasa kayo sa likod, I would honestly not recommend the Raptor for you because kawawa yung mga nasa likod, lalo na pag long drive. Pero pag, you know, city drive lang naman yung mga ginagawa ninyo, that's okay. But like, let's say you're gonna go for like a 5 to 7 hour drive and you have guys at the back here. It's uncomfy. You better give them pillows first before you start your drive para naman at least yung box nila will be okay. Isa pa palang maganda guys, ito may Ford Performance na badge dito. So whenever you enter the car, you are always reminded that you have a Raptor, I guess. And that you can jump all the humps that you... I'm just kidding. Okay guys, let's go inside. Uh, see how useful these step boards are. You just stand here and then my hawakan dito and then you can slot yourself in here. So I'm gonna tell my dad to start the car. Let's go. The startup sounds really nice guys and it's very quiet here in the cabin. Ano yung screen kanina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. May Raptor na. Pati dito, Raptor. Yeah. So this is what you pay for guys when you buy a Ranger. May kasamang iPad. Oo nga eh. So, ayan guys. Uh, Climate control is all automatic and then nag-connect ka agad yung phone ng dad ko without even connecting it via plug. That's how fast this system is. And you know what's the best guys? You can actually control this using your voice. Tingnan mo to guys. Okay Ford. Set the temperature to 21 degrees. Setting temperature to 21 degrees. Galing oh! Galing guys! Talagang voice control! LCD na rin guys yung buong screen na yan. Tapos you can toggle through the menus. Alam mo ba kung paano? Ito. Ha? Ayan no? Menu. Oh yan. Trip, off-road, towing, phone, audio, settings, vehicle maintenance. Yung previous Raptor, you could not drive it in full-time four-wheel drive. 2H lang talaga yung dati. And yung mga dating Raptor na nagda-drive ng 4H, nasisira. 
So this time, may advanced track na tong Ford Ranger Raptor. And you can drive full time in four wheel drive. 4A means four automatic. So kaya na niya mag-drive in full time four wheel drive kahit sa highway, kahit gano'ng katagal pa yan. So nagtagal ka dito, lalabas yan dito eh. Yan. So ngayon, normal. maka normal tayo. You can go to sport. You can go to slippery, mud ruts, uh, sand. sand, baha, rock crawl. Ayan na pala yung last. Tapos, itong mga modes na to, like for example, sand. When you click sand, ah, when you choose sand, nakasulat dun 4x4 shift in progress. And kung bumalik kayo dito, it's gonna automatically go to 4 high. So, ganun kasi pag sa sand. And then, uh, if you notice, nagpa-pop up tong screen na to. This is actually the trail screen. Yan yung front camera. Yan yung front camera. And naka-angle yan kasi based yan sa kung naka-turn yung steering wheel mo. Yan, yan o. Oh. Oh, galing. Normal. So, balik tayo guys to normal mode. Nakakainis lang. Blue yung kotse dun. Sana orange, ba? But anyway, ito yung sinasabi ko guys. May self-parking mode. Uh, hindi na namin the demo kasi sobrang bagal niya. We never use it. But if you're a beginner in driving, you could absolutely use this. This is the trail screen. When you press on that, it brings you here. What's nice is you get the camera sa harap again. And then here, you have these two buttons. And yan actually yung diff lock. Press it, it locks the diff. So talagang ready for off-roading talaga to guys. May hill descent control din. Patayin muna natin to. Yeah. Aside from all these technological features, let's say you get stuck in traffic. Pwede ka magano, maglaro dito, magdrawing ka. Um, ito, ito yun, oh. ito yung sketch. Drawing tayo ng raptor. Oh, dali. Wow. Single cab ba yan? Oh. Galing, ha? Oh. Tapos? Oh, yan na. Pula, nga saan yung windows? Yan na yun. Hmm? Yan na yun. <laughs> May sea light. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Ayan, guys, Ranger Raptor. Ayan, oh. Guys, rate my dad's drawing of the Ranger Raptor. Uh, comment it below. From 1 to 10. 10 being the nicest. Owner's manual. Uh, Where tires? Tires. Ayan. Ayan. Lalabas na lahat. Galing, oh, guys. Huh? Agree talaga ako sa ginawa ng Ford na yung instructions manual. Andun sa ano sa head unit kasi maraming Pinoy hindi nagbabasa ng instruction manual kasi they don't want to pull out the physical booklet and read it by themselves at home. So ngayon at least may instruction manual sa loob ng car for when the people have, you know, common sense questions, they can just search it in there and they get an instant answer. I think that also promotes uh, the habit of I guess searching in Google because uh, I think guys Marami tayong pwedeng i-search sa Google na hindi na natin kailangan tanungin sa public or like, you know, sa social media. Yes. This is one more cool feature, guys. Yan ay auxiliary switches. You get six of them. Yan, parang fighter pilot, oh. Ang ganda na to kasi, uh, if you have lights, kunyari magkakabit ka ng lights dun sa harap or like a light bar, may nakaabang na dun, dun mo na lang siya itatap. Tapos ito na yung switch mo, di ba? Oh, di ba? Ejecto seat, di ba? Bang! Tapos lilipad to, guys. Bang! Pataas! Tapos wala na yung pasahero mo. One more cool feature in this uh, passenger side. May parang cabinet dito. Ayan. Oh, boom! May tissue sa loob. Aside from there, meron dito. Yes. Tapos, And then yung dito, pa dito. Ano siya, guys? May rubber padding to, ha? Di ba ibang cars, kailangan mo mabilan ng rubber? Ito, rubber anti-slip, po. Oh. Hindi. Tsaka yung maganda Tapos, to, Nakaslant na siya pababa. So, mas kina anong gawin mo, hindi malalaglag yan. Yeah, meron siya tong parang ano, oh. dila dito. Yeah. And one more cool feature guys sa Ranger Raptor. You probably haven't seen it. You get the French fries holder. You might be wondering bakit French fries. Guys, may French fries talaga dyan. Yan guys, French fries. O, oh, ba? French fries holder talaga yan. I'm not kidding. Oh, ayan na nga, nag-charge na nga. Mabilis. So guys, one more cool thing about the Ranger Raptor. When you buy it, all the buttons on your steering wheel are actually complete. Each one of those buttons has its own function, like my cruise control down, volume control, menu control, lane detection, lane centering assist. It's all there, guys. As in, completo talaga, Ford did not leave anything blank over there. So you also get paddle shifters for uh, sporty driving. And then, dun naman sa baba, completo rin lahat ng buttons, like 
talagang everything is here automatic uh, mirrors and then when you go to the other side completo rin lahat guys you can even lock and unlock centralized yan from the passenger side and i forgot to mention guys that this seat over here this is fully automatic it has all the same functions as the driver's seat leg room is very very big I'm 5'9 guys and ang dami pang space talaga dito. Uh, LED na guys lahat ng uh, interior lights dyan tsaka dito sa likod. So, medyo plastic ang dating. Plastic. You know? uh, that's, Tapos, but, that's probably where they cheaped out. Yeah. So tama nga may mirror pero pag bukas mo walang ilaw. Ah walang lights. Oh, plastic. Ayan tingin mo yung tulog. Oo oh, nga eh. Actually the headliner really sounds hollow. Ayan na pag ginaganyan mo. Kaya lahat ng sound ng ulan tumatagos inside the cabin. Bang! And you can hear the echoes of the headliner. It's really hollow. You know. It's cool na andito yung pangbukas ng door. You just squeeze this and it's gonna open. Ayan. I don't know how that's gonna work for kids. If you have kids at the back, baka naglalaro sila dito habang nagdadrive ka dun sa harap. And then they're gonna do this and then bang! You're... Wala na yung kids mo. Kailangan na ano, may child lock siguro. Hindi, alam ko meron nga dun eh. Pero kailangan mo pa siya i-access dun sa screen. Tapos ng thunder. Hindi, lightning yun. Nauna yung lightning bago thunder. Ay, ganun ba? So, People who will buy the Raptor, chances are what you'll do is this. Tapos hihilae mo. And then you're gonna be like, Oy, bakit di mo bukas? But in reality, this is not how you open it. It's like this. Oh my God, hindi ko nga mabuksan. Uy, pat ayaw? It's supposed to go up. Ayan, up. It's supposed to go up. The mechanism is kind of stupid, guys. It's supposed to go up, and then that's what's gonna, you know, release this locking thing. Pero, itong garter na to, pag nakasara, andun siya sa loob. So, when you're gonna open this, ang tigas. Grabe. Dapat sinabi ng ahente rin sa, ano, sa mga buyers. Kasi sigurado ako, may makakasira niyan, tapos magkocomplain. So the funny thing is guys, uh, even some agents nung nag-test drive kami, hindi nila alam paano buksan ito. <laughs> Kasi I remember I was sitting at the back of the car while my dad was driving, nagte-test drive kami. And I was like, oh may ano pala, may ganito pala, pero nakasara siya ng ganito. And then I was trying to open it like how you would, you know, open this like pulling it. Tapos pati yung, yung agent, hindi niya alam paano buksan. So, Pati ako nagtataka sa ah baka ano, baka defect or something. So, so yun. Ngayon ko lang na find out talaga paano siya buksan. So you pull up ah, you pull up. Put it there. Ay, ay, nadumihan. Patay. Okay Ford. Okay Ford. Wala, hindi ko marinig. So guys, ang ingay ng rain. To the point that the sound actually goes inside the cabin. And when you say, okay Ford, it cannot recognize. Okay Ford. Okay Ford. Okay Ford. Ayan guys, kailangan sobrang lakas. That's a, that's a problem guys, pag umuulan, sigawan kayo ni Ford dito ha, sigawan kayo. Set the temperature to 18 degrees. Please try again. Ah, di naman yan ba? Wala. You know what? Let, let's not even try. Imuulan eh. Wag na, wag na. So we're gonna go for a drive, and I'm gonna tell you guys uh, ano ba yung impressions namin of driving the Ranger Raptor. So let's go. So we're gonna go down this sidewalk to simulate uh, a situation where we do not have anywhere else to pass through, and it's really not a challenge for the Ranger Raptor going down sidewalks like that. And guys, please do not try this uh, anywhere. This is demo lang, done in a private location. I've been able to drive the Ranger Raptor for the past two weeks and it will really make you feel invincible that you can do anything with this car. When you're in rear wheel drive mode, it's easy to kick the tail out and do, you know, hoonigan stuff. When you're in 4x4 mode, it's easy to go up sidewalks and, you know, do crazy stuff. Since the Raptor has the new 2.5 Fox shocks na sobrang ganda, you will really feel invincible going through humps. You don't even need to brake. I'm not kidding. Ayan, no? oh. It's firm. 
pero very comfy. Ayan, no? no brakes. My God. You don't bounce up and down. Yeah, controlled movement lahat. That's what you pay for in a Raptor, guys. You really feel invincible, I swear. Pwede mo diretsuhin yan. Yan, no? yan, yan, yan. Ayan na, guys. Nabubuyo na. Oh, yun, 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 Grabe, wala talaga guys. No challenge at all. So if you're the type who wants something like this guys, the Ranger Raptor is really perfect for you. But again, yeah, always drive responsibly. Yes, tama guys. Always drive responsibly. This car can do it, but that doesn't mean that you should do it. Again, yung pinapakita namin dito, demo lang. Baka may haters tayo dyan na sabihin na, oh, oh, reckless driving, tag LTO. Oh. <laughs> Off the record, uh, we've actually tried up to 80 kilometers per hour going through a hump wala as in kayang kaya talaga so suspension ride quality A plus A plus wala akong masabi cornering you might expect na oh it's a truck it probably cannot corner like magro-roll yan side to side ganito but no even my friends can attest to that the way this corners the way it's set oh, super planted hindi masyado ma-roll Talagang yung suspension, Fox Shocks. Amazing. Ayon yung maniwala, you guys should try it for yourself. I just don't know how. <laughs> Maybe yeah, schedu they, schedule they it. Schedule sila ng test drive support. Yeah, yun. Schedule na lang kayo guys ng test drive yun. That's the only way talaga to explain. Kasi sobra talagang galing ng suspension ng car na to. May, may tawag dun sa suspension niya. Ano yun? Yung sa likod? Yung ginagamit din sa... Ah, oh, oh. What's oh. link? Yung rear suspension nito is not leaf springs, it's what's link. So what's link, guys? Search nila lang sa Google kasi mahaba explanation na yun. <laughs> okay? How does the engine and transmission feel? Yung throttle pedal. Well, to tell you frankly, yan yung patalo sa kotse na to. So, the throttle, first of all, has throttle overrun. Meaning, you're stepping on the throttle, you're accelerating, right? And then you let go. You let go, naga accelerate pa rin siya. So that's one thing na, you know, that, you know, medyo disappointing. Considering you bought a Raptor, tapos may Ford Performance na label. Pero pag bumitaw ka ng throttle pedal, naga accelerate pa rin yung car. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe for some yung mga talagang ma artist sa ganun, hindi nila ma handle yung ganun. But like, my dad's, my dad never complained about it. Ako lang inakapansin talaga. About the engine naman guys, it's a 2-liter turbo diesel engine. Same as the previous gen uh, Ranger Raptor. Power is good, power is good. Uh, lots of torque down low, the RPM. Pero once you get high in the RPM, usually typical turbo diesel, wala nang hata. But it's, I think it's, it's enough. But to tell you frankly guys, hindi ito yung engine na gusto namin ng dad ko. We really wanted the V6 EcoBoost. So, if that ever comes out in the Philippines, ano mangyayari? Ah, uh, di trade din to. Na subukan ko to sa, what do you call this? S-Lex. Cruise control, uh, 100 yung speed. Ang RPM mo is mga 1,600. Fuel consumption ko, mga 8.5. Pag nagbukas ka ng door, meron siyang light dito to light where you are. Yan. Angas guys, angas. I think we've discussed everything. Meron pa bang ulang? Wala na. Anyway, if you guys have questions or you wanna know something about the Ranger Raptor, you can always just comment below and ask me. I'll be glad to answer your questions because this car is here to stay for quite a while. So lahat ng questions niyo, we can answer it because this is our car. And if you guys enjoyed this review, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified pag may bagong Raptor na content tayo. Click yung notification bell. Tama, tama. Para oh. notified kayo, guys. Itong Raptor na to is not gonna remain stuck, guys. Uh, if you guys are subscribers and if you've been watching our previous videos, you guys know that we love to modify cars. So Project Ranger Raptor is not gonna be stuck for long. Hope you guys enjoyed this honest and non-biased review. And yeah, uh, we'll see you next time. You guys take care. Goodbye.